Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add SAS to your HTML project. We are going to be using a newer syntax called SCSS. Since we'll be using npm, which is a default node package manager, we need to install Node.js first. You don't have to worry about these terms now. We just need them to set up our tooling. Go to nodejs.org and download Node by following the instructions for your operating system. The IDE that we're gonna be using is Visual Studio Code. If you don't have it installed, you can find it here. Now, open VS Code, click File, Open, and choose or create a new folder for your project. We're going to start by creating a basic setup for our website. Let's add an index.html file first. We'll add some basic structure here. A div with a class container, a div with a class row inside of it, and finally a simple hello world heading. We'll also link the CSS style sheet that is going to be generated later once we set up the SAS preprocessor. We will install an extension called Live Server in order to be able to serve our website and access it in the browser. Click on the extensions link on the left and search for Live Server. Click install. Now when the installation is over, we can close this window. In the bottom right corner, you should be able to see the Go Live button. This will start a simple server that's gonna serve our website. The website is opened in a browser. Now let's prepare a folder structure for our styles and create our first style.scss file. Once you've done that, click on the terminal option from the main menu and choose new terminal. Make sure that you've installed node and npm correctly by typing a command node-version. Now let's install sas for our project. Run this command, npm install node sas. This will create package.json and package-lock.json files for your project with default config. We will create a simple watcher script so that whenever we change our scss file it gets compiled into the css. We go to the package.json file and add another field called scripts about the dependencies. Our script name is going to be watch scss. We start by defining a node sas binary, then dash w, followed by the path where our scss file resides. And then we specify where we want our output to be which is our generated CSS. Now go to the terminal and type npm run and then the name of our script. This will start a watcher script. Let's open up the style.scss now and add the styling. We'll use a feature called nesting. So we want to target the h1 inside of the div with a class row. First, we start from the container, we target the row, and finally our h1. Let's just change the color to navy. Hit save, Control s on Windows, or Command s on Mac, and look, our CSS has been generated. If we go back to our browser, we'll see that the live server has detected our changes, and the h1 has changed its color. So this is how you can add SAS to your HTML projects. Thank you for watching.